How to Trade in Low Volatility. David Jaffe with BestStockStrategy.com. Right now, as of June 2023, volatility is really low. In fact, recently volatility has been trading in the 13s, which is lower than it's been trading in the past three and a half years. So what are some ways that you can generate income while also managing your risk in low volatility environments? The first is that you have to make sure that you trade spreads. And I know that this is going to actually decrease the amount of premium that you receive, but volatility tends to be mean reverting. So when it's trading at 13, if you make a trade right now, you're not going to collect much premium, but it's not unheard of for the VIX to spike to 20, 25, 30 in just a few days, which means that if you're trading naked options when the VIX is trading at 13 and then the VIX spikes to 20 or 25, all of those trades that you made are going to end up showing you a major loss. As a result, it is very important that you trade spreads because spreads as a defined risk trade is going to end up neutralizing the volatility component in your options because you bought that long put as protection. The second way to trade options during periods of low volatility, and I highly recommend this, is to trade very short expirations. This includes zero, one, or two DTE. And this is something that I discuss in my options trading education course at beststockstrategy.com memberships. The reason why you wanna trade short-term expirations when volatility is low is that, again, when volatility is oversold, there's a much higher likelihood that volatility is going to normalize. And as a result, if you trade something that has a 45 days to expiration, then it's highly likely that volatility is not going to be trading at 13 or 14, 45 days from now. The third way to trade to protect yourself and to also bring in some money during periods of low volatility is to make sure that you trade uncorrelated assets. These include things like XLE or TLT, or GLD or things of that nature. Make sure that you have some uncorrelated assets in your portfolio so that if the S&P pulls back by 10%, then not all of your positions are going to be highly correlated. The next recommendation is, is to not be too aggressive. You have to simply accept that during periods of low volatility that you're going to receive less premium for putting on and placing new trades. But that's going to even out because when volatility is trading at 30, then you're going to collect a lot of premium. So just accept that volatility is low and that in the future it's going to increase and that as a result, the amount of premium that you receive is going to even out over the long run. And the final way to trade in the stock market during periods of low volatility is you have to make sure that you buy options. Buy options as hedges during periods of low volatility. You can buy long dated expirations because that's going to ensure that when the stock market pulls back and enters a recession, that you're going to reduce your portfolio volatility and also make money on those long put options that you bought. Warren Buffett has a very good quotation where he said, to be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. And that means that during times when everyone is complacent and volatility is very low, that this is the best time possible to buy long dated put options to protect yourself against future pullbacks and black swan events. David Jaffe with BestStockStrategy.com. Visit BestStockStrategy, enter in your email address and receive over $400 of valuable free training. Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts on what are some of the best ways that you can trade during periods of low volatility. And as always, I appreciate your attention.